G'day everybody and welcome back to the Old Farm Countryside Factories Edition. So, today we're going to start off by doing a little bit of painting, landscape painting. And basically, I'm just going to cut across here. Hopefully my maddening reasons will become evident at some point. But for now, we'll just keep this as a bit of a mystery. Well, it's not so much a mystery. Um, put simply, I just want to segregate this field just a little bit. Um, just so as, well, in the future, I'm planning on making this kind of two separate fields. Of course, now it kind of, well, now you've probably clicked on to part of what I'm doing, but anyway, we just won't tell anyone the secret, eh? Okay, so now that's done. Now, initially, I said I was going to paint and landscape this field, but unfortunately, well, I still can't use the corn because it's not part of the process but what I've decided that I'll do is I'll get to and cultivate the field in that way at least makes sense to me that the field will be partially fertilized now I'm going to find out that no, that is the cultivator with her let's get move out a little bit um, now this week unfortunately I won't be able to do the videos like I'd initially planned because at the end of last week oh, we went into lockdown again um, this time a full force one so means we're not even allowed outside which means little Miss G is, at, is home from kindy and Miss G, uh, Mrs. G, she's um, she's home as well, so she's not doing what she'd normally do throughout the week. So I'm actually having to record this at night, um, which I don't normally do, and I honestly don't know when this will actually come out. Um, so hopefully it'll be done on, well, Hopefully I can get it out sometime by Tuesday. But, you know, it's, life is, you know, um, with the dreaded pandemic that's happening around and people not following the rules, you know, um, you always find those rule breakers. You know, that, um, yeah. But anyway, enough complaining. Let's get this field here cultivated. Then we can... Um, fertilize it and lime it and yeah we'll just uh, we'll just be able to make turn this into what I'm planning on is a big old wheat field um, I plan on keeping the field near the canola um, the can the biodiesel factory I want to keep that as canola and yeah just to make sense at least it does in my mind. Come on, let's just take that wall with me. In my mind, it makes sense to make this a um, wheat field. Uh, wheat, uh, wheat near where it needs to be deposited. Canola where that needs to be. Any objections, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so let's get this done. And yeah, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll leave this in, get it done, and yeah, I'll chat again when uh, when I'm on to the next bit.
Okay, <coughs> okay, and so we've gotten that field cultivated of all the corn that was in it. Uh, so that's job number one out of the way. So I'm next going to put some lime over here, do some fertilizing, and then I'll chuck some seed in. Um, then we're going to get to and cultivate the other field over there. Um, yeah, we've got a few things to buy between... Well, we've got a few things to buy, so hopefully we can... We've got enough cash to be able to buy that. Alright, so let's just drop that there. Okay, before we do anything else, let, let's just get to and see how our factories are going. Alright, so our flowers, flower mills at 100, well, 99% productivity. And our um, biodiesel is at 100%. Uh, we're going to need some more diesel. Uh, oh no, more canola. So we'll get to and plant that very soon. And we we've got some wheat and barley there. Um, we're going to have to deliver some more diesel over there. All right, so let's... Um, well, I'll just park this here for a moment because I want to get that other field up and going. So... Okay, so let's flick over to our next tractor. Oh, that's not a tractor, that's a tractor. Uh, might as well bring home the trailer. Um, that's right, last episode I did tell you, well, I typed in how much we actually made in total for, for the biodiesel. Uh, I'm not very good at talking these days. Didn't realise that this... Oh, <coughs> I forgot that I'd left this all up here. But let's get this back down to the farm. Then we'll chuck our fertilizer state on that field. Um, followed by we'll lime it. Um, chuck another fertilizer state onto it and then we'll um, then we'll plant it. Um, so let's just put this trailer well we'll just put it down over here shall we just race through right. so we'll let that off there possibly leave the weight there come to think of it um, that weight's going to be sold and we're going to try and find the biggest weight possible um, just purely and simply because we're going to need purely and simply because we're going to be wanting more weight on the back to be able to lift things on oh, tired of not having a not being able to use this to carry what I need to so what have we currently got in here got some lime in here so we'll just Unload that there. It's this fertilizer over here. <laughs> it's terrible when you forget what uh, forget what's around. But that is kind of what happens when you're going in, uh, going insane from a lot of things. What is that? Yes, it's fertilizer. Woohoo! You know, this big bag handler is good. It really is. Just there are some times when it picks up two or three items that you're thinking, you know, how? Just how? That's right. <laughs> we'll just drop those there. I forgot that we've got to get to and push the special button to be able to fill it up. Okay. 
So let's put that on there. Okay, so let's unload that and oh, let's get some. I think we're going to need all the fertilizer that we have here, so we'll just pull up and get as much as we've got. If we don't use it, that's all right. We can put it on the other field when we get there. Getting closer. Grab the last couple of bags. Um, you know what, we'll just carry this bag. If we need it, we need it. If we don't, well, we've got it on us. So, once again, over to that field, I'll more than likely be doing a lot of time lapses in this episode, just because of the, oh, another one for the cattle counter. Let's keep going, okay. Yeah, I'll probably be doing a lot of time lapses in this episode, because there's stuff that I'd like us to see, but it needs to be done. Well, you don't need to be seeing it done in real time. So, without any further ado, let's get this done. considerably quicker than what I thought it was. Let's just quickly get to and check our states to see whether or not we need okay for whatever reason it's not showing me whether or not things need to be it's not telling me the okay now it's telling me the fertil the fertilized states what exactly does that can't be right all right that's that's all right. I am really not doing well today. There are some times with this map, and it could just be me, um, when it just doesn't bring up the information that I want. As I said, it's potentially me, um, not necessarily the map or what have you, could even be as simple as I don't know what I'm doing properly but you know, we'll figure 
all these things out. Okay, so let's drop that and then unload all that. And we'll go get some lime and do that other field. Um, we, by the looks of things, we're not going to need much of anything. But yeah, um, see how much is actually here. If I can get close enough. Yeah, let's put a little bit more lime into, into our spreader here. Anyone keeping count of the cuddles so far? Um, I don't know how, I've, I think I've given up for the, for the time being. Um, oh, out of line. I wonder if there's somewhere on this map that you can buy a bulk line from. There'd have to be, otherwise there wouldn't be a line station sitting there. Unless we just go and buy the big bags as we need them and yeah, do what we need when we need it. Okay. So, time to chuck you on a time lapse and I'll get this done. Bring this back when I'm ready to talk about something. Okay, so that was a very quick stop. Um, let's go buy some... I've really got to learn these menus. Let's buy some more lime. Uh, what do you reckon? Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to take the trailer and the rear weight up with me. Because um, I want to sell the rear weight and just makes sense to have the trailer up, uh, bring the trailer with um, to collect things. Um, yeah. So, once again, um, well, I suppose I'll just be quiet and we'll enjoy the drive up there together. I won't bother about doing a time lapse this time. Um, we all know the way to the shop by now. So let's just get up there and do it. Hey, let's let's sell this weight that we have currently and then we'll buy something considerably heavier. Um, no idea what at this point, but uh, let's just 
So that um, uh, can't even remember what oh <laughs> weights it has its own category. Nine hundred one one thousand eleven hundred eleven fifty fifteen hundred sixteen hundred eighteen hundred twenty three hundred twenty four hundred thirty But uh, uh, five hundred kilos. Let's let's see if that'll work. For only a hundred and twenty bucks, you really can't. I've just had a thought. Will that allow me to put the trailer on behind it? Well, that is a very interesting question. Otherwise, I'll just go back to buying a standard. Okay. Why? Well, that was just uncalled for. It just didn't want to be put on in the first place. Okay, so sell that from there because I can't even pick it up. Um, so, block of cements, not very good. Well, let's change that to... I don't want to lose it. Let's go... Oh, I don't like that colour. Let's go with a nice... You know what? Let's go with pink. Just because, you know, it's different. Alright, so... Yes, we've spent three and a half grand... Well, three grand on that. But, you know, it hopefully it will eliminate some needs in other directions. <laughs> now I've gone too heavy, haven't I? Alright. Well, we can live with too heavy, I hope. At least it will make getting the biodiesel a lot, lot easier. Once we've got all that weight on the front. <laughs> really? Classic Gavino. Can never get, won't get anything where he wants. Alright, well. You know, I was going to say. I'll do a cutscene, but there's no real point in doing that. I'll just get these thrown on, uh, then we'll take them on back down to the farm or the factories. What do you reckon? Calling it a factory farm or just the factories? Get out and put some straps over that, make it somewhat legal. I also want to apologise about the inconsistency with the sounds in my videos. Um, it boils down to learning each and every time I do a bit more editing. It's um, yeah, I can't really do much of a playback until after it's up online. Just the way the computer wants to run and. You know, my technical abilities. Just get to and drop things from a great height. That's that's fine, isn't it? Great for the springs of the trailer. And last but not least, I wonder if I'm going to end up doing a wheelie the entire way back to the farm. 
Um, I'm almost positive I will be. With nothing on the front and all this weight on the back, it's going to be fun. Going to be very touchy with the steering, if nothing else. May end up having to take one of these off to be able to um, have enough weight on the tractor. Yeah. The only thing I'm not a fan of with the auto start on the tractors because they all they also auto. That's fun. Um, that's not going according to plan. Um, okay. Let's um, put it on the front, I guess, and the trailer on the back. Um, so, real life farming at its best. Uh, this is where I'm glad it's a simulator and not real life, because I can do things like this without, you know, without the boss telling me off. Hopefully it'll just automatically write itself. Woohoo! So, lesson learned. This doesn't tow the trailer with um, the weight on the back. Yep, you learn a new lesson every time. So, take this down to the um, to the field and chuck some fertilizer on onto it, I suppose. Uh, not fertilizer, sorry, some lime. Getting confused tonight, or yeah, I'll call it tonight because I am recording at night. So, around the side of this factory. Use our very powerful brakes. Something I am looking forward to in FS22 is the fact that we're also going to be getting basically a manual way to uh, manual trucks and all that sort of stuff so I'm looking forward to it at least uh, be be a great way, way to learn how to actually drive and well I probably I'll probably never use it myself but it's an interesting feature to watch the tractors and all the trucks and everything like that go through their gears and yeah last uh, the last bag then we can get to a this field properly okay just move our bale trailer off just over here looks good you know it's strange I actually think that the the pink weight actually suits the tractor. Um, maybe it's just because I'm a rainbow man. You know, I, yeah, I just like colour. I'm not a fan of just, you know, this is the box, let's keep it in. Okay. We, we 
might as well start all the way from down here and do one big long run. Okay, so. Turn it on. Of course, I still miss that corner, but anyway. So I'm going to be quiet now and let you guys just enjoy the watching. shocked me came out of nowhere that I ran out I wasn't even paying attention to what I was you know what, what was coming out the back end um, all right uh, so next job I suppose we'll drop this off into our well hopefully soon to be world famous shed here and we'll get to and put some some seed in the ground over there. Um, you know what? I don't think we're actually going to need this weight anytime soon. So let's um, let's just put that over here. Now, I want to welcome to the community NZ Racing. Um, he's messaged me and told me that he's just bought the game um, for, well, basically for his, um, for his benefit, I'm going to do a small series. Tongue-in-cheekly, I'm going to call it um, Farming for Dummies. Um, and no, that's not trying to imply that he's a dummy. But basically just... Um, a guide of how to use the mod hub or at least how I do and um, an idea of just different things like um, d what you really need to do to look after the animals and things like that because there are people out there that just they fill up the animals with 10 days worth and or to the maximum and they come back later and they go oh wait needs a bit more well the truth is it works just like our um, factories that I'm running here. You don't need to fill it up to get good produce out of it. Um, you, you have a, um, usually you have a few categories and the top one is the main one that you need to worry about. So if I just look through, let's go to say our chickens here, right? They need wheat or barley. Now, if they needed, um, well, wheat and barley, as you can see down there, is 100% effectiveness, which means so long as they've got that in any quantity, they will produce eggs. Um, you know, basically, that's the long and the short of it is. If you, if you read through and get it, and choose whichever one or a combination that allows you to get 100% effectiveness then that's pretty much all you need to worry about is get things started um, and they look after themselves you know you, you do need to get to and clean them up and all that sort of stuff just like you know having your dog in the out outside you look after its poop um, but yeah yeah they're pretty simple in this game. I will be doing cows in um, in this series 
just basically because I will be doing the cheese factory um, and different different things like that. Um, all right, well, seeding in this game is not exactly the most stimulating thing on earth. In, on earth, so I'll I'll get to and seed another one for the cuddle counter. I'll get to seed this. Um, and I'll bring this back in when I'm done. Alright. Alrighty. So, this is this last little bit to be seeded. Um, oh. Get to and chuck that back on times five. Um, didn't want everything to be growing as I was finishing my seeding. Um... I really, I'm undecided whether or not to leave you guys in while I get to and um, cultivate and uh, cultivate up that other field. Um, I might do that one off camera as well and get it all fertilized and ready to go. Um, and then once I've done that, um, we can... Well, you know what, um, we've got some biodiesel here, let's take that over to the, yeah, we'll, we'll take this bit of biodiesel over to our wheat factory, and I'm pretty sure we've still got some wheat in the, um, in the harvester, if I remember rightly. Okay, so we'll take this over, get uh, put it into our factory over there. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, I didn't want to just have this episode just simply um, just cultivating and, and getting... Uh, field prep and all that sort of stuff. I do kind of like to sell something or you know, do do something that's a little bit more exciting than just you know, this is the way we plough a field, plough a field, plough a field. Um, then this is the way we fertilise and all that sort of stuff. You know, I, I kind of like to think keep things a bit more interesting for you. But that also said, right, that also said, um, a lot of this game really is rinse and repeat. You know, you know you, you've got to do your fields, you've got to get things happening for the next stage, and once you've got that stage happening, then you can do the the following stage, etc., etc. Um, all right now, there they go. There goes the barrels. Uh, all right, we'll leave this here. Actually, let's go around and have a look at our our wheat around here. Okay, so we've nearly got an entire pallet of flour. I did mean uh, that. Let's go check this harvester here. Yeah, we've got an entire, well, we've got 42% of a harvester's worth of wheat here, so we'll just take that straight over and dump it in, especially considering the next field to be, um, to be ready will be our new UPU. That car's insurance will be going after me. New butte uh, field over here is ready to go. Uh, get this up. Deliver straight door to door, so to speak. Um, and yeah, I might for, uh, fast forward a bit of time. Um, so I was 
we can actually end on selling something. Um, you know, it's not that I'm obsessed with uh, filling the coffers or anything like that. Just, just for you guys, I, I do like to, you know, invest your time, I suppose. Um, make it feel like it's worthwhile watching. So... Alright, I'll see you in a tick when we've got we've got some flour to sell. Okay, so we've got a bag of flour to sell. Um, as you've seen, I did just check um, where we had the best price and it would appear that once again, the supermarket loves our Bread just for one, two, one, four. Uh, so we'll go sell this and then we'll call it a day. Um, so I am sorry about this week, we'll only have the one episode coming out. Um, hopefully, my lockdown will finish and I'll be able to get back to my version of normal sometime next week um, yeah our lockdown has been extended to our Sundays so yeah so supermarket is just generally this direction or I could be way off. This is terrible at going off road. Uh -huh. Mind you, you don't exactly expect um, forklifts to be off road now, do you? Hopefully, I'm not about to go do something like that. Woohoo, there's a road. Right there. Okay, very touchy on the steering. Especially going downhill when, when of course, all the weight is at the front. Okay. That did not go anywhere near us. Plan. Take three, eh? Lift it up. Back. Maybe I should just reverse the whole way. That actually doesn't sound like as silly a, as idea out loud as what it did in my head. Turn on some lights. Just in time for the lights, for the street lights to come on. Barely have this on. Didn't realise I was so close to it toppling off. So, hopefully the supermarket will still be open for late night shopping. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. All right, so our first crate of wheat. Now, my mathematicians out there, you've probably already done the maths and telling me, you know, how much I'm going to get. But here we go. We got. Three thousand and thirty-seven pounds. All right. Um, I'm going to call the episode there. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, if you like my video, drop us a like. Um, any comments, queries, questions, please leave them below, and I'll respond. Um, until next time. Cheers.